If you've used angle grinders for any length of time, you're familiar with swapping discs and using these wrenches. Every time I use them, I think there's just got to be a better way of getting these nuts off. One option is to have multiple grinders, one for every disc that you use. Sometimes you're using one grinder, though, and you're going through a lot of discs. In that case, it would be nice to be able to swap the discs faster. This is just a standard, cheap 18 millimeter socket. I'm using it as an adapter, and I got it because of the specific width of this, which will make sense in just a minute. You can see what I'm saying about the, the width of that socket is perfect. Zip tie will keep everything together. In addition to good airflow, I'm also wearing a respirator when grinding and welding. I wear a 3M7502 with the 2097 filters. It has a P100 rating and it fits underneath face shields and welding helmets. I do recommend wearing a respirator. This is what we have after welding, before cleanup. Check out my bandsaw video for information on adding one of these plates to a horizontal bandsaw. Here's a finished product after some paint. Let's see how it works. As you can see, it works really well. It cost $6 and took a few minutes to make. It was definitely a worthwhile project. About the only improvement I could see on this design would be either having it be magnetic or maybe adding a, a small magnet to the inside, just so when you pull off the unit, you don't have to hold the nut. And then same with putting it back on, you wouldn't have to hold on to it. But other than that, uh, I, I don't really see any problems with it. You can subscribe below to be notified of future projects. Thanks.